My name's John Daniel and I'm an independent creative director. I work for organisations, companies, individuals on commercial cultural projects involving branding, design, marketing and a whole plethora of different services. I actually started as a graphic designer, classically trained, um, and I then set up my own company, a partnership, in a um, place in Twickenham called Eelpie Island, um, primarily doing branding for different companies. Um, I then moved into mainstream advertising, where I worked for several agencies for probably over 10, 12 years, working on national TV campaigns, um, uh, press ads, etc. You know, in, in mainstream advertising. Um, I've also had my own boutique um, branding company called Ed and Flow, um, and now I work independently. So I've taken, I guess, all of the skills over my career, and now I kind of work with different individuals like Miss Dynamite. I work with organisations like the Black Cultural Archives, um, which I've just branded recently, and I'm also starting to curate um, exhibitions primarily based around my own collections, but I'm starting to branch out now and incorporate other themes that I like. It's a passion I've always had. From a very young age, I knew I wanted to work within the art field, um, and I didn't know necessarily where I wanted to go, and it wasn't until I got into secondary school and um, a, a teacher, uh, an art teacher, kind of said, you should think about commercial art. And the minute she mentioned that term, commercial art, that was it, you know, my journey towards graphic design, branding, etc., really began there. I'm very excited about forthcoming exhibition with the V&A Museum of Childhood. This exhibition is called Afro Superhero, and it's based on my own personal collection of black action figures, comic books, some games, etc. So I'm really excited, you know, it's, um, it's been, a, a collection that's been probably 20 years in the in the making and now to kind of be able to share it with the general public I'm very excited about that. As a child growing up in the UK um, being the first generation of West Indian parents there wasn't much in the British culture that really appealed to me so other than my my family um, culture I often looked to the, the States as I think many of my generation did for other inspiration. The, the whole nature of um, black culture in the States, politically, socially, was so much more advanced than in the UK. So heroes like Malcolm X, the um, Black Panther um, Party, TV programming like the Jackson Five, the Jeffersons, you know, all these things were very, very um, strong cultural influences. And I was exposed to them because I was very fortunate to be taken to the States with, um, with my family. In the exhibition I have comics like Black Lightning, Black Goliath, um, Luke Cage, Brother Voodoo. Um, I've got really interesting sort of side angles of where Lois Lane t you know, changes herself to be black, to be curious, to find out you know, what it's like to be a black woman living in 1970s America. So um, lots of interesting characters. My big brother Tony was my first Afro superhero. He was brought up in Grenada. He was born in the UK, but like many of his generation, he went back to the West Indies and was brought up by my grandparents and his family back home. So when he came to the UK, when he returned, he was around 15 and I was five. So if you can imagine the impact of a, an older brother coming from the West Indies, tall, athletic, big afro, black power, picking his hair, you know, that obviously had a profound impact on me. My mother's side of the family is from Grenada. My father's side of the family is from Barbados. My parents met in the UK. My mum came to England in the 1950s um, to train as a nurse. My father came a little later in the 60s as part of the London Transport Drive. He became a bus driver. I've always been extremely proud of my Caribbean heritage. When I visited Grenada, which was at the time of the Grenadian Revolution, we had people like Morris Bishop, you know, who was deposed. I mean, a real hero of the people, in my opinion. I've always loved Barbados um, as an island. I think it's a, it's a world-class island. It's very kind of sophisticated. And heroes such as Grandmaster Flash is from Barbados and various different kind of contemporaries. You know, these, these can't fail to be influences that I would want to kind of champion or have as part of my life.
I'm really excited because there's a real explosion of creativity coming out of the Caribbean. It's evident in magazines such as Arc magazine, put together by Holly Bino, which is a fantastic publication. Um, I myself have been, I write a column called Design Week, um, which is a regular monthly column focused on uh, creativity from the African diaspora. So again, what I'm seeing, I'm very excited about. The very progressive design work that really compete with anywhere else in the world. If you go to www.johnjon-daniel.com, you can see some of my work. Afro Superhero is going to be at the v &A Museum of Childhood from the 14th of September to the 9th of February 2014. I'm John Daniel and I'm Grenadian Bayesian.